Hi guys, welcome to another segment of Wine Wednesday, another favorite wine farm of mine. This is the wine farm. Yes. So, yeah, I'll just put a little just to start off the video. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and I'm so glad to have you here again today. Another episode, oh, I mean, segment of Wine Wednesday. So today I want to tell you about my crush. Yeah, guys, I have a crush. Yeah, good job. But as we are chit-chatting, I want to like fold my laundry because, yeah, and yeah, redo my wardrobe. But it's just winter clothes and it's mostly my work clothes because I separate my work clothes and my non-work clothes like weekend clothes so yeah even these I don't wear to work so yeah so yeah let's just start the video let's fold in some laundry because I did laundry today and let me pour me some more wine Before we start, I like my new crush. Yo, my crush. He's not new though, guys. Anyway, I can't fold clothes for shit. So my mom tried to make me fold clothes when I was young. I was like, oh, I'll never fold clothes in my life. Yeah. Look at me now. But anyway, I'm just folding some clothes. So, I met my crush. Well, we didn't meet. Like I've seen him around since 20, I think 2019, yeah, so we, we moved into this complex, this one, 2019 I think, yeah, 2019, late 2019, around September, it was between July and September, so we were moving in because we were like new owners, young people, whatever, whatever, and then I moved in around 2019, and then I didn't, I don't think I, I saw him 2019, or maybe I did, like maybe at the gate or whatever, but like around, I didn't know him like that. And then 2020, it was COVID, so I went home the whole of like lockdown, so I was in the Eastern Cape the whole of lockdown, so I didn't know anybody, like I just went at home right at lockdown, like right? nah, I'd rather have lockdown at home than whatever. So when I came back, I had a friend here at the complex he was yeah he didn't go home so when i came back he was telling me stuff that was going on in the complex the past three four months whatever whatever because i think i came back after june from march up until after june or whatever so he was telling me you know i met new friends because at the time we met 2019 so we were like still like fresh here he was the only person that i knew or maybe one of the three people that i knew in the complex and then even my neighbors, I didn't know them like that. But anyway, I was like, yo, I met these guys, and I met this couple, whatever, whatever, we're friends, we're friends. And then maybe I think two or three weekends after, he invites me to some braai, like a braai session or whatever. Or maybe I was walking in from the gate and they were having a braai outside. I like, no, come join us. I think I was ordering food or something, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened. I thought, like, okay, fine, let me just eat and then I'll come to the braai. I don't want to go there hungry. And then anyway, we I met up with this, his friends. And then I click with the girl, Shane. And then I can we click, we click, we click. And then coming back to my crush. And this girl had other friends in the complex. She's like, no, I know these other guys that stay across the complex. Let's go there. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. And then we get there. There's like a group of cute boys. Like a group, and this one is just quiet there in the corner. I'm like, okay, who that? But at the time, I was a bit loud. And then he, I'm like, hello, who's that? And then he yeah, actually introduced themselves and whatnot. And then I remember seeing his face because he was just the quiet one in the group. Anyway, and then 20, that was 2020, I think. Then life went on. Then I'll see him around, whatever, whatever. And then we have a WhatsApp group here. Then I'll see him talking J Wow. Oh, I remember that time when I literally first came back and then I had because at work they brought us desktops 
and then I couldn't connect to my desktop and apparently you had to use like what VPN or something like the internet for the work like to us to connect to the server I was, eh, it was just too much so I write in the whatsapp group like hey does anybody know how to connect this thing whatever whatever whatever, whatever. and then he replies privately that's before I knew he was my crush he replied privately I should be like no I can help you out but right now I'm at work but it's like late -ish now. I'm like, okay, you're fine when you get a chance. He's like, no, just send pictures of watching you, like the steps that you're doing, then I'll help you out, whatever, whatever. And then he did help me out a bit, but now he needed to be in my house to do it. But I was like, no, I don't want strangers in my house, whatever, whatever. I was like, okay, we're fine. Then that was 2020, I get someone to connect my um, that PC and whatnot. Life goes on. Yeah, sure. Life goes on. 2021 now. And then I get a new dog out outside the province, yeah. I get a new dog and then I forget about it. And then obviously it was 2010, then everybody had babies at the time and apparently he also had a baby at the time. With I don't know who. But anyway, I went back to Durban in 2020. Like, yeah, I just after my birthday. I went back to Durban and I was working there the whole time. And then I think he was part of board corporate at the time. I don't know, I think he's part of the body corporate. And then I had a fight with body corporate while I was in Durban. Because, like, excuse me, one of my tenants, gee, it was just a mess. I was like, no, uh -uh. like, I had to fight with my tenants. And shit. I think they got three fights in three days. I'm like, it like, didn't make sense. So I'm like, yeah, and then I'm sending emails. I'm fighting with body corporate. And this guy's replying. Like, I recognize him from back then in 2020. And then last year, 2022, I get a job back in Cape Town and I had to come back to my old complex. And then it was time to choose body corporate at the time. So I volunteer myself, me liking things. And I volunteer myself to be body corporate. But trust is, yeah. It was time to vote or whatever. I'm like, I volunteer myself. Eh, eh, eh. And then this guy is there. He's part of the trustees or whatever. My body corporate trustees. No, I didn't, I didn't even think he's cute, like, like he's just some yellow boy. Like, not that there's anything wrong with yellow boy, but like, probably he's not even my type, you know? So I'm not even thinking of him like that. And then, I had to go to these body conferences, and they were every week, every week. I was like, oh my god, now I have to come back early, come to these body conferences. That was late last year. I'm still staying outside the complex, knowing that in January I'll come back to the complex. And then, eh, I shop. And this other time, the meeting came out late, like super late. And he's like, um, Oh, I'm like, No, I have to Uber home, whatever. He's like, Hey, well, at this time, it's late. Can I take you home? I'm like, It's far. Are you going to be able to drive back to Cape Town, like the city? And he's like, Yeah, sure. I shop. As you are doing now, something magical happened. Something magical happened in that car. I don't know what we were talking about. No, we were just talking to him. And then I look at him, and he's looking at me. Our eyes locked. I get to my place and then finally talking to him again. I think when I got into his car, I took my phone. I don't usually do that. I took my phone and put it down. Usually I take my phone and put it in the back because I Uber a lot. I take my phone and I and I put it down. I'm like, I'm okay. Shout. After that, I think I was working home the next day. So I'm like, okay, fine, I go in. Then where I was staying, there was no network. Like it was like in table, like on table mountain. Like there's what three the week, yeah, staying. There. So there's network problems because it's up the mountain, like little, like it's literally on the highest. And I'm like, okay, I try to call my phone. Hey, it's ringing, but I can't hear it. It's ringing. I'm like, oh shit, what if I dropped it? So now I don't have his number, and then I have to log on to my WhatsApp on our PC. I, I log in. And then I texted, hey dude, I think I left my phone 
on like after I left my phone in the car. He's like, yeah, it's been raining, and then I'm like, just pick it up, and then we're gonna talk. I can like, shout, I call you on my phone because I have two phones, so that's how I could call my husband. So I'm like, yeah, what's going on? He's like, no, you left it, and I'm already on the highway back, so I'll just bring it to you. And I remember the day I was going to the doctor the next day, that's why I was at home during like in the morning. Look <laughs> how I saw that shit. Oh my gosh, I'm bad at it. But hey, doesn't matter. Anyway, he brings it to the next one. Oh, oh, oh. And I don't know what happened in that car. Like, it's so cute. Oh, and I shout, okay. Life goes on. He comes in the morning. He's like, where are you? I'm like, no, just call me. This phone that I have right now on me is a WhatsApp number. Just call me on my phone. And he calls me, he brings the phone. And then I was on my way to the doctor. I'm like, I just dropped me off at the doctor because like I'm tired of walking. Because I use this phone for like it has internet. The other one doesn't have internet. It's like a TV kind of thing. And then I'm like, nah, I'm tired of walking. Just take me to the doctor. And then he drops me off again. That's the doctor. And that's it. And then, oh, yeah, and another thing. And then there was um, a PC that I bought at work at some auction as well. Let me have a drink. And then there was a PC that I bought at work at an auction day, and I wanted to take it home. But because it was from work, they wiped everything out. So it didn't have, like, even. So I asked him, can you, it's all windows on this thing. He's like, yeah, but then I think the next day I was going home because it was December time. I think I went home around the 8th of December last year. I'm like, no, um, I'll drop off the PC at the complex and then you take it in the evening then just bring it back. And then I had an event that day. I think it's one of the videos where I went to the boat cruise last December. So that day, so he's like, and I was looking cute that day. I'm like, now you can bring it in the evening. And then I go upon like I go about my day and then he's like okay fine I'll be making my way to town around 8 pm and I'm like okay sure and again, as he's making his way to town I'm still dressed because I already like I just arrived at that time and then he comes with the piece like with the laptop and then I walk to his car and he just comes out of the car and then he puts the laptop on his what on it Puts it into my bonnet, and I'm like, why do we sit in the car like in my head? I don't know. And then he shows me how to work it and whatnot. He's what he installed in the laptop or whatever. So I'm now I'm thinking he's alone. Then I look into the car. There's someone sitting there, and he can see that hey, these two are flashing, they're flashing at each other. I'm like, hey, what kind of there's someone in the car? He's like, yeah, that's my neighbor or something. So that you're with someone because you know, I'm out here blushing in my head saying that like, you know, I'm out here blushing and he's with someone. Okay, I'm yeah. um, going home tomorrow, so I think I'll see you when you come back. Because he's also from that side where I'm coming from. So he's like, he's gonna drive on like a week after I go home. I'm like, I can't wait for that. Just for a few weeks. Yeah.
place. I'm like, what? Now I should cook. He says yes, and then he comes. And then I start cooking things. I'm not gonna cook, and then he doesn't arrive. I have trust issues that day. He's like, no, I'll come. And then when he came, I was like, and then I started cooking. And then as we were eating. Like you were so disappointed, she was like, Park, park, and I have to go. And I was like, But do you have to? He's like, Yeah, I have to follow the contract. When they call me, I need to answer anytime of the night. I'm like, Okay, it's fine. Next time, then. And then yesterday, I was going to some event like with my friend. And then, yeah, as I was walking out, he was, I'm driving out or something, and I'm walking down the stairs. As I'm I almost lost my mind and I was looking cute yesterday she was looking cute of him to put a picture so I was looking cute and I was like oh my god like, 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 like every time I see him because the last time when he was here last day he was for the dinner or for the supper he was like he's so sure to walk because I didn't know how to get around him and then today I was like okay fine I'm gonna cook and then I said no Thank you. 